The diagram shows the curve with equation y equals 6 over the square root of 3x minus 2. The region R, shaded in the diagram, is bounded by the curve and the lines x equals 1, x equals a, and y equals 0, where a is a constant greater than 1. It is given that the area R is 16 squared units. Find the value of a and hence find the exact volume of the solid formed when R is rotated completely about the x-axis. So let's have a look at this then. Um, I put uh, the question here in a little bit of uh, um, information to visualize the questions. So the exact value of the... find A first of all. We're told the area is 16. So here the area under the curve is simply integral y dx between 1 and A. A is bigger than 1. So that's the integral of this thing here. It's power half square root is, so we can move that up to ground level and flip the ha half to a minus a half, can't we? And that would be t between 1 and A. Now we can do the integration. We know we raise the power by 1 using the power rule. So that would raise to a half, wouldn't it? Add 1 to this. Now if we differentiate this in our minds over, we get a half. Uh, a half of this to the minus a half multiplied by the something differentiated, which is 3 over 2. So we end up with 3 over 2. We want 6. So we'll need a 2, and we'll need another 2, won't we? And that will give us 6. So we need to times that by 4, it looks like, doesn't it? So let's do that then. Let's put the 4 in here and double check. So let's differentiate again now. Half comes down to be with the 4 to make 2. This to the 1 less. So we've got two lots of this then. Multiplied by the something differentiated, and that differentiates to 3. And 2, 3 is a 6, so that's good. So this is needing to be evaluated between 1 and a. So we've got 4, top value then, put a in. We've got 3a minus 2 to the half. Minus, put the bottom value in here. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1. 1 to the half is still 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So top value is that, bottom value is that. Top take bottom. So we know that's equal to 16. Now let's divide by 4 all the way through, and that tells us then that 3a minus 2 to the half minus 1 equals 4. So 3a minus 2 to the half then. Move the minus 1 over to plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. Square both sides now. So the square of the left will just leave 3a minus 2. The square of the right hand side, 5 squared, is 25. Now we can move the 2 over to 27. And lastly, we need to move the 3 from times down to divide, don't we? 27 over 3 is 9. So A equals 9. So, we've got A then. And the exact value of the volume when R is rotated about OX. Now, I've drawn a little picture here of a volume. So we rotate this shape around the x-axis, like so. And we generate a cylindrical disk. Uh, the distance across here is delta x. That's the thickness of the disk. The area is pi r squared, which is pi y squared. So the volume, the small segment of the volume here, is pi y squared dx. So from that we can get the volume, just from first principles really, almost. So volume is just simply the sum of all the dv's, these volume segments between 1 and 9, because it's 1 and a. And we said that was pi y squared dx, didn't we? And y squared, uh, so y squared, so here's y, so square it, we get 36, times this squared, which half, we'll get 3x minus 2. And then using the properties of indices, that'll be minus 1, won't it? Two of these, when we square it. Uh, dx, so that's what we get there. So now that looks like a log, doesn't it? So that's equal to 36 pi, the integral, 1 over 3x minus 2. And that would be between 1 and 9. And that's equal to 36 pi. And this is a log function, ln 3x minus 2. When we differentiate this, it goes to 1 over the something, multiplied by the something differentiate, which is 3. So we need a third here, don't we? So that's equal to 12 pi. 3 just goes into 36 12 times. ln 3x minus 2. Two. Now we're evaluating this definite integral, so I'll put a square bracket between 1 and 9. 
So this needs to be evaluated between 1 and 9. So that's equal to 12 pi. And I'm going to take that outside the bracket now. 9 in here, 3 9 to 27 minus 2 is log 25. Minus, and put 1 in, 3 1 to 3 minus 2 is 1, log 1 is 0. So that's what we've got, 12 pi log 25. So there's the volume then. It's 12 pi log of 25. That's the exact volume, and it's going to be units cubed, isn't it?